Hey, hey guys, today we're going to talk about five view UI component libraries that you should know about in 2018. So we're going to look at the different components of each. We're just going to quickly look through the different websites. We're going to look at, see which ones are out there. So you should know about these. And also if you stay all the way to the end, there might be a surprise. So stay tuned. Let's begin. So the number one uh, UI library I want to talk about first, and these are in no particular order. I think you can put these in any of your view projects, no problem. And that is called iView. And I just kind of like this website and this crazy background here. Uh, but you can see here, it's a high quality UI toolkit based on view. Uh, you can just throw in this, you can see here, they have the CDN here. And you get all the basics you expect. You get the grid layout. Um, you have pretty cool layouts. You can do colors, uh, it has buttons, inputs, form switches, boxes, real simple stuff. And of course, the beauty of using a, a UI component library is that you can easily drop this into your view application. You don't have to write the code for all this. And then it has all the triggers and everything you need. Uh, so you don't have to do it all yourself. Let's see, it has an autocomplete, which is pretty cool. You can see here, you could kind of take a look at how it's, you can look in the documentation here and see how you need to put it in here with this autocomplete. Uh, let's see here, it has sliders, date picker, rate. And so if you're familiar with Bootstrapped or Foundation or Angular Material or React Material, you're gonna kind of see the same themes in all these different component frameworks. Uh, it has alert boxes, which is really awesome, or alerts, I should say. Uh, time pickers, messages, avatars, pro tips, tool tips, breadcrumbs. Yeah, so a lot of good stuff here. I have not used iView, so, but I've heard good things. Uh, we did a poll the other day in the View, uh, View Facebook group that I'm a part of, and iView was definitely near the top. Another one near the top was Vue.js Material. So this is a material design component framework. Uh, it looks like you have some Patreon sponsors. So this is pretty well known. Um, this is Vue.ify, excuse me. They call it the material design component fra framework. This is one I have used quite a bit. It is probably one of the most popular Vue uh, UI component libraries. So I really liked uh, some of the cards and themes and layouts of it. You can see here it supports a lot of different browsers, has a lot of support behind it. So you get all of the things that you uh, kind of a, used to different alignments has a grid layout has uh, different themes you can actually have dark themes and and, and white light themes uh, let's see here you can do transitions which is kind of neat slide reverse so not, nothing too crazy here so let's take a look at the ui components so we have buttons. This is what I was using in my one of my other projects is these cards. So just really simple to just pop this in there. You didn't have to write all the CSS and and everything with it. Um, had nice little hovers over it. Uh, but there's cool stuff like Jumbotron is, is really neat. Uh, looks like it has toolbars. Um, you can see here right at the top. It's really simple. Just throw these in real quickly into your view apps. Uh, it has some built-in directives you can use. Uh, ripples and has advanced tutorials. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. Not the same stuff you see in the other ones. Um, like I don't see where the buttons are. Where are the buttons? Do we have buttons? Yeah, you can see. Okay, yeah, here's the buttons. Yeah, here's your different buttons. Um, kind of looks like every other button out there. Dividers. We had parallax, which is kind of neat. That's kind of neat. It's already built in there. What is snack bars? Hello, I'm a snack bar. Huh. All right. So, yeah, very cool library. Really easy to, to, to drop into your view project. So that's one to check out. The next one is view material. Not to be confused with beautify. So it has material design, simple lightweight, compatible with everything, full featured. It also has some sponsors. Roll bar. Uh, so getting started, so you have elevations, layouts, kind of it looks like the basic layouts you see everywhere. You do scroll bars. Um, website definitely looks a little different than the other ones, maybe not quite as good. Avatars, placeholders, we got a bunch of different forms, nice looking forms here. 
user drop downs. Let's take a look at the select boxes. Yeah, it looks, looks all pretty good. Uh, progress bars, kind of neat. Little radiant range buttons. Very cool. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I still think I think Vitify and iView might be a little bit better than than view material but i know a lot of people you've been using view material and it's recommended a lot so you know definitely check out here's the buttons kind of look like every other button ripple off okay so the other ui library i want to talk about is element so it's another it's sponsored by type.io uh, let's take a look at what they have so we have components we have a guide installation is always really simple with these libraries these ui component libraries. So basic grid layouts, kind of we've seen everywhere else, layout containers, uh, kind of colors, radio boxes, inputs. Let's see here, cascader. So we can scroll down. We have upload. Oh, okay. Trees, uh, we have alerts. Uh, loading screens, loading inside containers. Here's your nav menu, nav bar. I um, mean, yeah, this looks all all pretty good. Uh, tool tips looks really nice. Popovers uh, has a carousel at the bottom. Uh, so I haven't used this at all. I mean, it looks like it has quite a few great things to to work with here. Um, here's a guide on it. I still think maybe alert. I, I think it Vitify and iView or maybe it has a, a few more features, but I've heard good things about Element. And Quasar is another one. So you're getting started under a minute. So this has quite a few things. Let's see in our starter kit here. We have, it looks like it has more than just the view UI stuff that you're interested in. Here's components. So it has some materials material design stuff. Um, I don't, let's see, we have Flex CSS, some helpers. Looks like it's very mobile friendly um, from what I can see. So build responsive websites, PWAs, hybrid mobile apps that look good, Electron apps. So definitely more mobile friendly in this. Looks like it's more, uh, here's the material theme showcase. So I mean, Looks like it has quite a bit of things that you expect. Toolbars, tabs, lots of different types of tabs, breadcrumbs, uh, pickers, radio, range, sliders. Uh, looks like it has quite a bit of features here. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. It has cards, uh, modals, very neat. So yeah, I, it's, I'd say I've heard good things about Quasar too. So you have quite a few things you can do there. Ajax bars. Um, so this is this is pretty impressive. This is Android, they said right here. So yeah, I think maybe mobile, definitely a little bit more mobile uh, friendly there in this point. And the last but not least, uh, I just, I'll include this article in the link below. It's 11 view G if you JS UI component libraries, you should know in 2018. Uh, so we've already mentioned Vutify. They marked that number one. Um, so I definitely am a big fan of Vutify. View material we just looked at too. I haven't, I didn't show you Keen UI, but that's another one. Uh, element we looked at. Uh, and uh, I haven't used Bufy or Bootstrap View, but I'm guessing this is just a Bootstrap framework wrapped around a view. Um, views components, at.ui, fish UI. We talked a little bit about Quasar. It's a very popular framework. Uh, components are in web components. And Muse UI, Vuex. And then there's some more individual libraries. So cool. I, I think that covers most of it. So I would, I would, I'll put links to all these different uh, UI component frameworks in the description below. So uh, as I promised, I will be giving away a copy of my Vue.js in action book. Uh, actually, um, I I am giving one away from my video from last week, and I'm going to give away from one from video for this week. So if you guys will be giving away two copies, one from last week, one for this week. So if you guys want to enter, <coughs> it's pretty simple. All you need to do, 
is there's a link below that says to join my mailing list. All you need to do is make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you really want to, click that bell button. That really helps me. And then click the uh, email list. Click the email list. Subscribe to my email list. You'll get some emails from me. You'll get updated when I send out new videos. And I'll get you entered into this contest. And I'll pick a winner probably sometime this week for both last week and this week to get a copy of my new Vue.js in action book, which I am very, very close to getting finished. All the chapters are out. I am just going through a last, um, it's an early access that is. So I'm just going through my last round of edits, making sure there's no bugs or problems in it. Um, you know, beefing up some of the examples and I'll be giving out a free copy of that. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.